What's up, y'all? Today's training session is lower body, and I learned a lot from today's training session. So if you watch carefully and you watch me warm up, I'm just dive bombing the descending movement. And at the bottom, in the weakest position, I'm expecting my body to be able to contract rapidly and explode back up. And this is a foolish mistake that I made at three plates at 365. And now you see me at 405, attempting 405 for a heavy set. And if you look at my first rep, how I warmed up translated all the way to my heavy working set. And this is like the worst mistake that I can make. Look. Boom, I dive bomb and immediately I had to good morning the weight. Good thing I had the strength to muscle it up, but I'm wasting a lot of energy and I'm letting my muscles hypertrophy when I don't need to be and this is really gonna affect the entire training session. You see me shaking my head and I'm like, fuck, what the hell's going on? Cause four or five shouldn't be that heavy. I go again and yet I don't learn. I just keep dive bombing the whole time, but that's why it's so important to record yourself and watch yourself so you can see the mistakes that you're making. If you dive bomb, it's really hard to be consistent at which point in the bottom you're gonna return the movement or at which point in the bottom you're gonna contract your glutes and your hips to explode out of the hole. So this entire five sets of three, my first set is kind of doable because I'm strong enough to muscle the weight up, but the other two reps are completely horrible. Look, I'm just, my hips are shooting up too early. It's so inconsistent. Every single rep, I'm ending at a different bottom position. I'm exploding differently. From this training session, I learned how important it is to descend with full control. So I don't try to burst my blood vessels trying to get the weight up. After that, I did some beltless deadlifts. And I've been deadlifting as a main accessory right after my squat days without a belt to build core. And I feel like this is really helping because now my confidence for beltless deadlifts or even beltless squats is shooting up. And I'm just ripping this weight off the floor and 405 didn't really feel too heavy. But then on this set, if you watch closely, my training partners told me that my hips were shooting up. And also from a Lily Bridge video I watched, when they do multiple reps of like five, eight, or 12, instead of thinking of it as one set, they think of it as 12 singles. So they make sure that every single rep counts because when you're gonna compete in powerlifting, you only get one rep. So keeping that in mind, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should slow this down and not think of this as cardio or as volume or whatever. I'm just gonna make sure that every single rep is perfect. So I try to perfect every single rep and I learned a lot from my mistakes in this training session. I hope you guys can learn from me too. Peace. Black people, man. They're the shit, dude. I don't know what it is about them, but black people.